Amzadai is a name given to groups of street entertainers who travel the countryside of old Korea. Korea is equivalent to Western traveling minstrels and gypsies, similar to that of Commedia dell'arte in Europe. Just as their Western counterparts did in their lands in ancient times, these Namzadan groups travel from town to town doing their performances, asking very little in return, often simple lodgings and food to eat. However, they give so much for meager pay. They were trained musicians, singers, dancers, and acrobats. They were rope walkers and jugglers, but most importantly, very innovative puppeteers as well. When all of their tumblings and acrobatics, jugglings and rope walking is done, to close their perf performance, they put on a puppet play. Park Chomji Nori, Park Chomji Play, is a puppet show. Its protagonist is Park Chomji, an old man with a dubious nobleman title, but is basically a common down and out opportunist. He is Korean version of European Pulcinella, Punch, Petrushka, Kaspar. He tells often saucy, sometimes vulgar tales, and gets into many wild misadventures. The audience laugh at him, but they identify with him. He's their hero. Park Chomji has a wife who happens to be, surprise, surprise, ugly, rude, and generally very annoying. She is the Judy to Park Chomji's punch. Her character even has an eye that's purposely drawn crooked to symbolize her unattractiveness. She has no name, simply Park Chomji's wife. Then there is his second wife, a concubine who only appears to emphasize Park Chomji's lascivious tendencies. There are other minor characters in Park Chomji's play, uh, Park Chomji's young daughter, Buddhist monks, who also engage in morally questionable activities with women characters. They also have Ishimi, it's a gigantic snake that chomps down and devours its victims whole. It's a big snake who aspires to transform into a dragon and fly up to heaven one day. So he's very hungry and very anxious. He will attack and devour anybody and everybody. It's their version of Punch's crocodile, Pulcinella's dog. The only individual who is capable of defeating Ishimi, the monster snake, is a character called Hong Dongji, a red fellow. Audience, audience is informed that he is related to Park Chomji somehow, maybe even one of his nephews. He is a strange character. He is completely naked and completely red. When he comes on the scene, he customarily pees. He spews out water from his impressive male appendage into and over the crowd and the musicians, and the public goes wild. Only when his demonstration of his prowess is over, he engages with the story. There are other minor characters who appear briefly to complete Park Chomji's misadventures. King's Huntsman, local lawmen, the mourners at the, the funeral, Park Chomji is a stick puppet. He is the biggest puppet in the play, for the size indicates to each character's importance in the play. Park Chomji's, pu Park Chomji's puppet 
also has a mouth that opens and closes to mimic speaking, as to his wife. Only these two have movable mouths and, and movable arms. All other major puppet characters are only equipped with movable arms that enable them to raise and lower their arms and, and dance. Minor characters like Buddhist monks are simple glove puppets. The most peculiar part of Korean traditional puppet play is that all ends with two monks, now carpenters, constructing a Buddhist temple. With accompanying music, these two construct an entire temple from supporting beams to walls and doors and finally shingled rooftop. Then the people from the audience walk up to the stage and hands banknotes to these carpenter puppets. And the puppets take the banknotes and thank the, each person with a deep bow. Park chum play, this uh, traditional puppet show, has been gaining popularity in recent years. And thanks to younger generation of puppet artists discovering and studying this traditional performance art, some of them are making serious efforts to bring to it innovations and new perspectives. And, and not simply repeating, but pushing its boundaries and discovering new and valid possibilities in artistic expressions in theater arts. Some hundreds of years back, some of these traveling entertainers from Korean Peninsula brought with them their puppets to the neighboring island of Japan and was an immediate hit. The entertainers returned to their home but popularity of puppets remained there. Some years later, the art of Japanese bunraku puppets was born. <laughs>